Attention Hellmark shoppers! Do you like games? We have lots of games here. Games to while away the pointless hours between your birth and death. Games like Syrian Civil War Monopoly, The Real Housewives of Candyland, Settlers of Milwaukee, and Uno. They're on sale now. Pick up a game and stave off the existential dread that is your meaningless life for a few more hours today. Bro, where are we going? The basement. He asked me, and I never said the basement. Oh, come on. It's obvious. Where else could the phantom shoplifter be keeping his stash? It's the only place no one ever goes. Yeah, but no one goes there for a reason. It's like super creepy. Oh, come now. How creepy could it be? Yeah, it's pretty creepy. I don't know if I can go down there. There's no lights. It's like... 30 degrees colder than the rest of the star, and for some reason it always smells like fried chicken. It's way too close to the gates of hell, and not to mention those video games. Plus, it just gives me some super funky vibes, Kimasabe. Listen, we don't have a choice. We have to find that suitcase or Billy Ray is going to kill Ruth. Yeah, I know. I mean, I like Ruth and all, but... Jake! All right, all right, let's go. But if I die down here, I'm gonna haunt you, Danny. You go first. Very well. Let's just stay close together. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. We don't need to get too close. Because you're so irresistible? Please, I think I can control myself. Whatever. I'm not the one that got shot down today. Aw, oh, you asked him out, Danny? Yes. Of course I had assumed that, that was a private matter. Why? Are you embarrassed of being turned down by a lowly cashier? What, you said no, Emily? Danny ain't bad looking, you know. You ain't had a boyfriend in a... Why, it's been a little bit, ain't it? Maybe I don't want a boyfriend. That's not what Ruthie says. Okay, I'm done with this conversation. Shouldn't we be at the bottom by now? Yes. Jake, exactly how long is this staircase? I don't know, brother. I never made it to the bottom. Wait, you've never actually been in the basement? Oh, nobody has been in the basement. Well, except for- uh. Daniel! Danny, you okay, man? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine. The last three steps are missing. Luckily, this pile of rusty nails broke my fall. You two will have to jump down. All right, well. Here we are. Yeah, here we are in the dark. Can anyone find a light switch? Here it is, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh man, I do not like it down here. I guess we'll just have to look by flashlight. You had a flashlight all along? Never mind. There's nothing in this room. But there's a hallway over there. Shall we? After you, brave guy. Yes. Brave. It's like a maze down here. Are we going to be able to find our way out? Don't worry. I have an excellent sense of direction. I know just where we've been. Why would I worry when I'm with you? What exactly is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Let's just forget it. No, you know what? I've had enough of your snide remarks. Yes, I went to jail. Yes, I led a privileged life up until that point. I don't think that makes me less compassionate. And you being less well off than I doesn't give you any moral high ground look down on me. Me? Look down on you? I'm not the one that came in here talking about how rustic this place is and how you don't belong here in Hicktown. Well, you know what? I like these hits. They're nice people. In fact, they're my people. 
And you're not better than them. I don't think I'm better than them, but you sure do. What? You're not as nice as you like to think you are. You just reek of upper-middle-class guilt. You probably got all wild after high school and didn't go to college. Now you're doing penance here, making it up to your parents by getting a degree and telling yourself you're going to be a good person by doing something important like being a teacher. Stop guessing stuff about me. Oh, that's pretty close to the truth, isn't it? I bet you were a party girl. Hit rock bottom. You're trying to be a better person now. That grandmother you took care of. She wanted you to go to school, didn't she? Shut up. Who do you think you are? Just coming here and messing with everyone's head? Do you think we're your playthings? No, I really like everyone here and I just want to make some friends. Well, you really suck at it. I know. I'm doing my best. I've never had friends before. You've never had any friends? <sighs> Not really. I had work friends. They all disappeared when it hit the fan. I've been rich and good-looking my whole life. I've never had to, you know, be nice to people. <sighs> okay, Daniel. You know, I really do want to be your friend. It's not pity. I like you. You're fun and interesting. But you really need to stop being such a douchebag. Can you do that? I think so. Can we just start over? Sure. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Daniel. Can we be friends? I'd be glad to. I think we just scared Jake to death. I've never seen him so quiet. You okay, Jake? Jake? Where did he go? Is that him? What? I didn't hear anything. I guess it's nothing. When did we lose him? Come on, we have to backtrack. Right. Wait. Which way did we come from? From that hole on the left. No, that's the way we were going. We must have come from the other direction. No, listen, I'm telling you that we came from this way. There's no way. I promise. I have an excellent sense of direction. Just trust me. I... I don't know. I guess. Let's go the way you think we should. Don't worry. I've got this. I hope so. Because if you don't, we might be down here an awfully long time. That's unacceptable. We can't let that little psychopath murder Ruth. Ow, Billy Ray's bark is worse than his bite. I don't think he's gonna hurt Ruth. Jake! Where did you come from? What are you crazy kids talking about? We lost you. You were gone and we were looking for you. It's true. You were gone for at least five minutes. You two all right? We just started down this hallway. Right. This place is not good. We've got to find his hidden cache and get out of here while we still can. Yeah, but how? We barely started and already we got caught in some weird space time loop thing. Wait, why, Dan? You guys hear that? Footsteps. They're getting closer, man. What should we do? I don't know, bro. I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, really, how bad could it possibly be? This is Hello Mark. Right. We're in a lot of trouble. Maybe we should run. And get hopelessly lost down here? It's coming too fast anyway. It's better we meet it head on than have it coming at us from behind. It's right around the corner. Yeah, this damn tall guy. There it is. Ah! Oh, hey guys, what's up? Carlos! Bro, am I glad to see you? Yeah, Jake, it's great to see people. Carlos, what are you doing down here? Oh, uh, just the hand. It got me again. Oh man. How many times is that this week? Oh, you know, like 12 or 15. I lost track. So you've spent a lot of time in the basement. Oh yeah. Sometimes it feels like I go away for years. Carlos, have you seen a big pile of merchandise down here? Oh no, I've never seen anything like that. There's some empty boxes, a few old signs, a boiler. But mostly there's dark places. Places that see inside of you. In the center of the maelstrom lies the seal which will tear the flesh from your soul if you gaze too long into its empty horror. 
So, no merchandise. No, not down there. Damn. Where else could he be taking it? Where else could 20 years worth of junk not be noticed? Are you talking about the Phantom Shoplifter? You mean the Phantom Stuff Hider? He's not shoplifting until the stuff gets outside. Wait. Outside? Isn't there- Yes. He doesn't have to leave the premises to go outside. Come on! Where are we going? You'll see. Hey guys, wait for me! I am the God Emperor of those that dwell below. All who swim shall look upon me in despair. They shall know that the name of their doom is Sherman. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, oh, give me that. This is custodial manager Steve Joe. The bed department is now open. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Damn it, Jimmy. I know what you're up to. Now quit your stalling. All right, Billy Ray, you got me. I'll just lay it all out on the table for you. It was Professor Plum in the conservatory with the lead pipe. Wrong. I got the lead pipe right here. Ha! You lose again, Jimmy. Oh, Billy Ray, you're sweet and you're smart. How is it you're still single, honey? Well, dating's rough in the leprechaun world. These days, it's all swap right, swap right. I swear it's a meat market out there. Hey, that boy's been gone a good minute now. You sure he's fetching my gold? Oh, uh, he's getting it, Billy Ray. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. He'll be here any time now. You see, he really is a phantom shoplifter. He has been taking the merchandise out of the store. But he can't leave. He can't step foot out the store. He can't even go to the parking lot. He's a sad ghost. That's right, he's sad, but not stupid. There's one place where he can still be standing in the store proper and also be outside. The roof. Hey, I wanted to do the big reveal. Oh, come on. I think most people probably figured it out. Uh, what people? Never mind. Let's just go. Yes, to the Phantom Shoplifter's rooftop stash. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. He brought everything here. Look at those pants. They're big. That's right. Decades worth of shoplifted merchandise. The deeper into the piles you go, the older... the stuff, I'd imagine. All right, Tamagotchi. Yes, and if I'm not mistaken, um... Ah, yes, here it is. The suitcase. Ha. Now, if I could just find that talking spider insect action figure. There's no time. So will only take a moment. Ah, I found it. It's you, the phantom shoplifter. What is it you want? What are you doing here? He's gone. Yes. Oh, damn it. He took the talking insect toy. Daniel, we really need to go. We've got to get the suitcase back to Jimmy. Right. Jake, help me carry this. Ow. Man, leprechaun gold is heavy. Uh, hey guys, I'm just going to stay here for a while. The roof is kind of nice after being in the basement so much. All right, Carlos. I just hope we're not too late to help Ruth. That's it. I've had enough of this. I'm cutting this bitch's throat. Hey, now. Forceful is one thing, but don't be rude. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm sorry, Ruth. I didn't mean nothing by it. That's okay, sweetie. This is a stressful situation. It's only stressful because of Billy Ray in the first place. Now, Jimmy... Why'd you have to go and say a thing like that? I've been very patient, but my patience is over. And I know you are cheating that Jenga. My hands were in view at all times. No, it's too late, Jimmy. Ruth, 
I'm sorry, but I gotta do it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Billy Ray, you're not gonna hurt me. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Billy Ray, be a darling and get my purse for me. It's under the counter. What you playing at, Ruth? This has been fun and all, but I need a smoke break and everybody's getting just too worked up. Billy Ray, I know a nice little leprechaun girl. She lives in the hollow tree on the other side of Jenkins' pasture. Here's her number. Go call her. And stop holding knives to people's throats. It's off-putting. You're setting me up on a date? That's right, sweetie. Oh, well, I don't know what to say, Ruthie. I've just been so lonely. I know, honey. Just call her. I think your kids are going to hit it off. Oh, shucks. I feel awful foolish now. No hard feelings, Jimmy? Nah, Billy Ray, I know what it's like to be lonely. Shit, boy, we all get a little crazy sometimes. Well, looks like I got a phone call to make. I best be on my way. Wait a minute, Billy Ray, what about the trade? Oh, yeah, your shells. Well, here you go. Keep the gold. I got a hell of a lot more where that came from. But a good woman, that's priceless. Ruth, I can't thank you enough. You call me after your date, Billy Ray. Let me know how it goes. Will do, Ruthie. And everybody else, fuck you! And he's gone. Damn leprechauns. You could have at least returned the shelves assembled. Or vaguely near the right part of the store. Ah, oh, well, gift horses and mouths, I guess. I got it, Jimmy. Jimmy, I have the suitcase, I am. Um, uh, uh. Where did the leprechaun go? You were too late, boy. Ruthie took care of everything. I'll take that suitcase, though. Now everybody just get back to work. It's all over? Ruth, are you okay? Oh, sure, honey. Billy Ray's just a big old drama queen. Oh, Emily, thank goodness you're back. Do you have my refund? <sighs> Come on over to my register, Annabelle. We'll go through this one more time. Whoa, cowboy. So all that running around was for nothing? I, um, I guess so. Hey, there he is. Come here, butthole. Where's that customer's toy? Oh, and my day gets better. Did you find what I needed? Madam, I did try to find it for you, but... Ah! A ghost! Chris, is that you? What? Ma'am, do you know him? He... he was supposed to be my prom date. But he never came. I waited for you, Chris. What happened? He was killed that night. It was an accident. He was killed right here, on his way to prom. Oh, Chris. What's that you're holding? It's the talking spider insect action person. He wants you to have it. Oh, Chris, thank you. I'm so sorry we never got our night. I never forgot you. Well, there you are, ma'am. Your toy. Hey, this packaging is damaged. I should get a discount. You'll have to talk to the cashier about that. Don't think I won't. I guess you think you're hot stuff, don't you? With them smoldering eyes and that jaunty step. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't gonna be pretty forever. And Merle will replace you. I think I'm growing on him. Well, I guess we best start stalking something. We just got an order a giant squid in. Giant squid? Never mind. I'll meet you in the back. I have to do something first. Take your time. I'm gonna stop by and see Valerie on the way. She has a boyfriend, Jake. Yeah, but I'm Jake. And I have plenty of time. I'll see you in back, brother. Bring your gloves. But I don't need credit. I need money. I'm on a fixed income, dear. Okay. Annabelle, for the last time. Uh, excuse me, Annabelle. What if we traded the TV back for a new knife set and a jumbo box of freezer storage bags? Oh, well, that would be useful. But I can't take them today. I don't have my shopping bag. Oh, that's no problem. We can simply print out a receipt. That promises you their cash value so you can get them another day. Oh, thank you, dear. 
Perfect. Emily? What? Oh, yeah. Here you go, Annabelle. Thank you, dear. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Annabelle. Thanks. How did you know she'd go for that? Well, she eats people, and she's frugal. She eats people? Never mind. I'm just glad I could help out a friend. Yeah, thanks. You know, I think we got this friendship thing down. Yes, I think we do. This is going to be strange for me. I've never really been friends with a girl. I usually just sleep with them. I think you'll just... Daniel, Emily, you two need to come to the security room with me right now. What? Why? Yes, what's going on here, Isaac? Oh, y'all see. Hey, this is Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Evan Devilkin here. Have you been having a busy night? Oh, you know, sir, we'd like to stay busy. Yes, of course. A little bird tells me that you're currently in possession of a suitcase full of leprechaun gold. Uh, yes, sir. I, I was just about to return to the proper owner. I don't think that will be necessary, Jimmy. I'll be sending a courier around to pick it up. Corporate will handle this. Are you sure that's why, sir? Leprechauns can be on the ordinary side. Are you asking questions, Jimmy? No, no questions, sir. No. Good. You handled the situation well, Jimmy. I don't think you haven't been noticed. Good evening. Well, shit. I've been noticed. Isaac, really, I insist you tell us what this is about. Sit down. Don't touch nothing. And watch this screen. Isaac, I... Hey, that's us. Yes. When was this recorded? This was recorded last night. Is that... Why are we going to the pet department? Uh, Into the fish room. Oh, oh, this is where we went when we left Razzie's. Yeah, but what are we doing? Are we fighting? Oh... Oh my, (laughs) that ain't fighting. Oh no, turn it off, turn it off. I don't want to see it. (laughs) Oh, oh, look, look, I knew I remembered an octopus. No, 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 no. Oh, why am I upside down? That is impressive upper body strength, Emily. (laughs) Oh, I love my job. Attention, Hellmark shoppers. We would like to remind you that this month we will be bringing you Sample Day. Bring the whole family for free samples from all departments. Hellmark Incorporated is not responsible for any dispossessions or ritual mutilations that occur under the offices of Sample Day. Samples are consumed at your own risk. Thank you for shopping Hellmark. We hope you never leave. listening to Attention Hellmart Shoppers. If you've listened this far, you probably like the show or hate yourself. In either case, we urge you to leave an iTunes review, follow us on Twitter at The Hello Mart, and like us on Facebook. You seem like you enjoy high-quality audio drama. We recommend you seek out, listen to, and be enveloped by Sable. Sable is a serialized audio drama about a world that isn't what it seems. In fact, it's about an infinite amount of worlds that aren't as they seem. Angry gods, weird, unexplainable events, all of this and more can be found in the worlds of Sable. Created and produced by Lane Lloyd, look for Sable on iTunes or your favorite podcatcher, or find it at sable.libsyn.com. That's sable.libsyn.com. Sable is a part of the Fate Crafters podcast network. Now get on outside, get some fresh air, but don't breathe too deeply. That's how the virus spreads.
and king of the world! <laughs> I like the proof. Oh, hey, TV. Hello, it is I, Gunther. I have learned much since becoming trapped in the nether realm. You must help me to become free. I cannot evade the ghost of my past for much longer. Help me get out of here, and I will share with you the secrets to becoming a god amongst men. Okay, sure.